Welcome back to Pinball Help. Here I am uh, doing the finishing touches on this uh, Bali Squawk and Talk board. I am uh, rebuilding the board and replacing most of the electrolytic capacitors. These are the things that tend to go bad over time. Uh, I'm down to just the last few components. I just pulled these two. This is a C37 and C38. And I'm about to pull this big one off here. So let's take care of that. This guy right here. There we go, that's what I like to see when the capacitor just falls out. There we go. I've got, a, I've got a little cheat sheet here which shows me um, what the values are at which position so that I'm, I'm just double and triple checking everything. So uh, let's see. Let's deal with the big one. This is a 4700 microfarad a 25 volt cap. Uh, we're going to replace this with an actual a higher rated cap, capa uh, capacitor. You can go higher in voltage but you can't go or you don't want to go higher in the, the rating of microfarads. So in this case I'm going to replace this 25 volt cap with a 35 volt. You'll notice it's actually smaller, kind of shows how uh, technology is advanced and they can make uh, better components now smaller. So this 25 volt 4700 microfarad cap is going to be replaced with the smaller 35 volt one. And uh, it'll, not a bad thing, not a bad idea. So we'll just line it up here, make sure that the minus is pointing to the minus and the bump. This indentation is towards the plus side. And we'll feed it right through. And there we go. little solder and our soldering iron. Just heat the uh, area up. Don't touch the solder to the iron. Touch the solder to the area on the circuit board where it needs to adhere. And then we look on the front side, and we make sure that we can see the solder on the front side, just in case there's traces on the front. We know that it's... Uh, and then we double check, positive to positive, negative to negative. Looks good. So now I'm going to clip it. That's one down. Now we've got these, uh, these last two. This is um, C37 and C38. On the capacitor it says it is a 330 microfarad 50 volt. We have 330 microfarad 50 volts. Okay, when I'm going to double check, 37 and 38, yes. Okay, these are about 27 cents a piece. You know, does it hurt to uh, replace all of these if you can? You, but obviously you got to be meticulous because when you're messing around on the board, you could actually create, make things worse. So I, I kind of like methodically working on this stuff, so it, I'm up for the challenge. But again, there's a lot of people that think, well, you know what, unless you know exactly where there's a problem, don't go replacing things. So there's one. And just putting the other one in. Once again, check and make sure polarity is correct. Minuses are this way, pluses are that way. That's the way it's supposed to be. Make sure they're flush against the board. Bend the pins appropriately. Now we're ready for soldering.
All right. Okay. Take a look at the front. Make sure the connections are nice. Looks good. All right. Clip it. And there we have, and, and here's the rear side of the board. Uh, I didn't do too bad a job this time. You can't even really tell where the where the replacement components are, but we replaced 16 different items on this board. And uh, it's pretty clean. I didn't I didn't uh, hit the board too hard and lift up traces or damage anything. And then the front side. It looks pretty clean. Um, normally I might also go over this with a continuity tester just to check the traces and make sure everything is where it should be um, before plugging everything in. And then I'm also going to clean all these connectors just to make sure that they're nice and clean. And then throw it back in the machine and uh, see what happens. So there we are. That's rebuilding a Bali Squawk and Talk soundboard from the 1980s and uh, replacing the, co the components that are most commonly the ones that are going to fail which are the electrolytic capacitors that, that dry up. So there it is. Let's see if this thing is going to work. Thanks for watching and as always go to the website pinballhelp.com, leave comments, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.